And I, I just I just think I can't do it anymore. Write poetry, that is. Like I got something to say, that's not it. Rather, I just don't like what I write anymore. It's not what I want to be or stand for. I mean, everything that gets onto the page or comes out of my pipes is, look at that loser there. Look at those stupid people there. It's just so goddamn divisive. Us and them. And I hate it. I hate it. And I just can't do it anymore. Not even if it makes me feel good. No. Nope. But it isn't just poetry or my poetry. The, the whole goddamn thing, God's smack world is like that and operates in this spirit and fashion. I'm better than him ism. That's what I call it. I'm better than him ism. Those Republican redneck wackos, those Asian smoking gooks, those white middle class suburban loopers. It just goes on and on and on and on and the hate inside us is immense. There's this little person, like uh, this weak child trying to get out, but it can't. So it screams at everything else just to make it feel good. I'm sick of it. I'm sick, sick, sick of it. I feel like I'm inside a global episode of McLaren's Neighbors, you, you know, McLaren. It's a marvelous little video. There's a few others on that vein that I could recommend. I mean, uh, come on, we're all gonna die. So why can't we love each other? Really? Love each other, each and every one of us. But we don't. We go on killing each other putting each other down, hacking each other up, and being consumed with petty things like, this guy called me out on Twitter, that girl doesn't like me, na 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 na, oh come on man. There are people sleeping out in the cold, people dying on the streets, people lonely and chewing their own arms off, Jesus. Yet we go on and on and on with our pe petty one-upmanship, pompous as shit show, day after day after day and I just can't do it anymore I just can't I guess we don't want to be happy we'd rather just blow it up ourselves with cultures false tribalism and that's all goddamn culture is really it's just uh, a way to get you through the day and make you feel good by putting down others come on buy into the next trend wear the next hat that everyone else is wearing Belong to something at the expense of hating something else. We're all idiots. We're all filth. Divisive. Gutter spawn. Levi Strauss said that the base, the default archetype, which everybody uses to make the world livable for themselves, is clean, unclean. And that's what we do. This girl is clean. She's my kind. That guy is dirty. He's a louse. Damn, religion and the country is all just like founded on that shit. It's just all it is. And we make a million of these judgments every day. And I do too in my poetry. And I'm sick of it. Sick. 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 Because it ain't the truth. That's the truth. It's not easy to love thy neighbor. And I'm not asking anybody to be Jesus Christ. It's not easy to truly love them, or if you aren't up for that much, uh, just like them, respect them. It's not easy to do that. But the thing is, we don't even try. We might pretend for a while, but we don't even try. And that's sad. It's why I wish that some really, really shitty nasty aliens would visit start blowing us up and blowing shit up start causing trouble maybe that would bring us together maybe wells had that idea but i don't got time to wait for that and anyways it's just another trap we're still hating something so we feel good about ourselves only they're aliens so they don't count.